Hey folks, John with Hillco here with an exciting new product update for you. So many of you have been asking for heated honey bottling tanks and I'm excited to tell you that we have finally delivered. We have a beautiful new 19 gallon and also a 33 gallon heated bottling tank. Brand new clean sheet design, completely different than our previous offering, which we understand we had some flaws and failures with, with our previous heated bottling tanks. And uh, so we've taken all the lessons we learned from that design and uh, feedback from our customers, uh, research we had done, all this stuff, and put it into these new tanks, thoroughly tested tanks, brand different, different factory all together. We've really worked hard to make sure we have a great offering, and I think you're going to agree that we do. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and let you take a look. All right, here's our 19-gallon version and the 33 gallon version. These are type 304 food grade stainless steel. They are double walled tanks. There's two, there's an inner tank and an outer tank with warm water in between. That water is heated by this thermostatic controller here. Provides a gentle, even heat all around your honey from the all around the sides, on the bottom for decrystallizing. Uh, granulated honey or just warming the honey up to for easier bottling it works great really really fantastic in fact in this tank I've got some honey in it right now uh, that was almost fully fully crystallized as you can see it's getting liquefied there we'll probably bottle this tomorrow just a bucket we had laying around it was pretty pretty uh, heavily crystallized and we wanted a, another opportunity to do some more testing on these tanks and experience and just get some experience with them ourselves which we've already done a lot of testing but uh, just more and more experience with them helps us to learn, and uh, so I'm really, really impressed from the from the experience that I've had with these tanks so far. This new bottling valve, which I'll talk about here in a minute, these tanks are absolutely fantastic, and I know you're going to love them too. So uh, one thing that's exciting about these tanks as well is that uh, if you're familiar with our Max family of honey extractors. Yeah, if you're not, by the way, you should check those Max Series honey extractors out. But uh, one of the biggest features of those of those extractors that we've incorporated into these new tanks is the fact that the tank floor slopes towards the front, meaning the back so the back of the tank floor is mounted about an inch higher than the front of the tank, so the honey flows right towards the front, automatically all draining towards the front. There's no obstruction on the honey gate inside. Just a full, complete drain. That drain is also mounted just slightly below the inner tank uh, floor. And so you get a full, complete drain. No mess, no fuss, no hassle. Just the way it should be. Really, really nice. The honey is the, or excuse me, the honey goes in here. And the water goes in here. So the water for your outer layer of water goes, gets dumped in there. You have this sight glass here that tells you the level of the water. If you need to drain the water out of the tank for storage or for moving, you can do that with this valve right here. Then you keep an eye on your water temperature with this beautiful stainless steel temperature gauge. These tanks have a two-year warranty to give you peace of mind that they're going to last for an awful long time. And now I'm going to talk about this no-drip stainless steel valve. Guys, so many of you in the past have asked for these, these no-drip valves. I always thought they were so expensive, I thought, oh, they can't really be, be all that, all that great, all they're cracked up to be, but I've been using these here lately, now that we finally have our own offering, and I tell you what, I am absolutely impressed. I am sold on these things. They're amazing. I can see why everybody's been asking me for them, because they're just fantastic. Um, so just, just clean, smooth, consistent, no mess, no fuss, no sudden drips, no, oh, shucks, uh oh, I got to wipe that bottle off, because... There's a big old run of honey going down the side of the bottle now because the honey came out too fast or too slow or in a different place than I expected it to. It's just not that way with these gates. They are just absolutely fantastic. Again, smooth, dripless, clean. Um, I can't say enough good about them. So honestly, we were originally going to put a cheaper plastic valve on these tanks as our standard option and then offer this uh, no drip valve as a, as a little bit higher priced option. But after using this and comparing it to the other option we were going to use, I'll tell you what, I, I, I was just uh, sold on this and I said, you know what, we're just going to offer this as a standard for all these tanks. They're already competitively priced anyway. And so I feel like we're still well well below our competition price wise even with this valve included so we decided we're just going to make this standard and uh, that way we're giving you the best experience 
right out the gate because that's what we want here at Hillco is to provide quality products that you are going to be thrilled with. And I believe that is the case with these tanks. So one, one actual tidbit about these uh, no-drip valves is that most of our competitors only have the lever pivot on the right side. So it will pivot off of this side, so your only option was to be run it with your right hand. So that's, again, the way most of our competitors are done. But for us, I'm a lefty, so we put a pivot on this side. So all you got to do is swivel it around like this, and it pivots on the left side. So if you're a lefty like me and you choose to run it with your left hand, you have that option. We went, a, we went with a simpler electrical design on these versus our previous tanks. Just a simple thermostat, electronic thermostat, and a heating element. So the thermostat is, has an 80 degree to 180 degree Fahrenheit temperature range. In most honey bottling applications, you're going to be running between 90 to 110 degrees, somewhere in there. But you have a fuller temperature range in the event that you want to use it for wax melting or maple syrup bottling, I understand in maple syrup applications, they want to run about 170 to 180 degrees. So you have that flexibility with this tank. I will note, however, that we added a fail-safe to this, to this thermostatic controller here. So in the unlikely event of a thermostat failure, we added a thermal fuse, which will blow if the temperature gets much up above about 120 degrees. That way, just in case, hopefully it never happens, it shouldn't happen, but just in case, it will not allow your honey to get scorched or potentially have another hazard if uh, it were to get too hot. So, as a note to those of you out there who may be buying one of these tanks and planning to use it for a higher temperature application, let us know. And what we can do is put a, uh, higher, a higher rated thermal fuse in that will allow you to realize the full potential of the temperature range in these tanks and still have the fail safe built in there. So that's about it guys. Um, I tell you what, I'm really excited about these tanks. I think you're going to love them too. So check them out. You know how to get a hold of us if you have any questions. Again, a two year warranty. These tanks are thoroughly tested. Every single tank is tested at the factory for leaks. So we have made sure that there's no leakage issues with every single tank. We've put a lot of work, a lot of thought, a lot of planning into these things. We're priced competitively, again, a two-year warranty. And as you know, we provide the best customer service in the industry. So thanks so much for watching. Reach out to us if you have any questions, and have a great day.